All right, a hey, shalom, shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, you brothers out there teaching in truth and sincerity, risking your life and your freedom. And also to you few sisters, you Akwath out there, listening and learning in silence. To you, I say shalom. To the elect, the hopeful elect, you brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord, Yahweh, to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you, peace, blessings, and mercy from our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. So this is going to be a real quick video through the spirit um, Lunchtime video It will be entitled either um, You know, Satan coming down Knowing that he had but a short time Or Then shall they be know who are my chosen Either one of those um, And it's, it is going into what happened I think this past weekend or this, this this past week something between Wi-Fi and and, and the, uh, the Palestinians, you know, you had that brawl. I wasn't really gonna go into it, but this is this is part of prophecy. This is a part of prophecy. The, these things will happen. You got men, uh, you know, who who came up and and tried to do things in their own accord in the time of Acts you through this and you know other men like him who 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 sought to make a name for themselves you know you had many men in Israel that that tried to to go out of their way to be be seen and be known and and uh I think this is what is happening here with this camp Wi-Fi um you have them standing outside <clears throat> I don't know what they were teaching I know they were they were quoting precepts. I don't even know what was what was really being said. However, they were trying to rouse these these Palestinians up, making them feel some type of way, knowing what's going on overseas in 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 the uh, in the Holy Land. Right now, is un, un, unholy because of uh, Esau Edom and, and his. Uh, wicked works however seeing that this has happened there's been a lot of of news articles and and and, and talk about the so-called so-called black hebrew right they call us black hebrew we're not black hebrew israelites we're just hebrew israelites hebrew being our tongue right the 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 the, the history the heritage comes from the Hebrew and us being Israelites is just our lineage going back to the 12, 12 tribes of Israel and before that Jacob before that Isaac before before that Abraham you see so we are Hebrew Israelites we are not black we don't have a, a identity crisis or a, a extremist problem we are who we are because of the Thus said the Bible So with that being said You have a lot of talk going on now About how these These men attacked The Palestinians And I, I believe that this is just the beginning of A lot of, of, of Psychological warfare On the people To put the The Israelites in a bad light In a sense of their You know they already called us The T word they already called us uh, the R word, the greatest, you know, they they call us all these different things, uh, extremist and et cetera, et cetera. And, and now you have this, which has transpired and you have men, elders in this truth who condoned this, who glorified these actions from from these young men who I don't even, I can't do I call them men? These young, these young men who went out of their way to provoke this type of retaliation. So with that being said, this is just going to be the beginning of, of 
Esau, Edom coming down with that great wrath. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And, and, and the time is short. You go to Job, the 14 chapter says that his days are numbered. Why? Because the Heavenly Father, he set this man up only to rule for a certain amount of time. He had the Greeks, the Greek Empire, the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire fell or was wounded. And then it was rebirth through the Renaissance. And in, in terms or at the end of the day, it ended up becoming what we see now. You know, the, the harlot, the, the woman who sitteth upon the beast. NATO and the, ED, and the EU in America the the revised Roman Empire see so he's going to come down with great wrath because we have been prophesying all the way from our apostles our elders even before them uh, high priest Abba Bivens and, and, and etc have been preaching the downfall of this place and and you know the uh the awakening of of the elect, and and the the coming of Yahweh Shai. So now this man has to make moves. He has to make moves because the his agenda is is around the corner. He wants to enslave the masses of the people with a certain tech, an electronic device. We're gonna put it like that with some technology. He's gonna put it within within your skin. So that he can track you, your 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 whereabouts, your thoughts, you know, your actions, your your um, you, if you pay this bill, if you ain't pay that bill, you, hey, he wants to com have complete control. So we read it again, Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore, rejoice, ye have it. So we should rejoice, as men who sincerely trust in the Lord, Yahweh Zai would be of the elect, and and Lord willing, we endure. We should be rejoicing because these things are, they have to come to pass. They have to. Things like this is going to continue to happen until Esau finally makes these moves to um, basically, hey, it's going to be a point to where we're not going to be on the highways and byways anymore, man. Be, one too many more of these, these certain events. Hey, the Lord is going to end up shutting up the word, man. Amos 11 or 8, 8 and 11, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to get that real fast. Salaki, if I'm talking too much, let these precepts go. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. And we have been teaching, man, go on YouTube, man. Look at look at your subscription box. Hey, man. I, I I would check my subscriptions and uh, the notification, you know, the bell icon or whatever. It's thousands of, of, of notifications. You open it, you clear it, and you wake up the next morning, you got hundreds more, you know? So the word is going out, man. The scriptures say in Ezekiel the 47th chapter that the word is like a that, that river. First it was at the ankles and the knees. Then it was this great body of water. This word is, is, is overflown on the earth. You see, but the Lord said he's going to cause a thirst, not a thirst for water or bread, but of hearing the words of the Lord, which is symbolic for water and bread and wine and milk and honey. You see, verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai and shall not find it. So there's going to be this time where we won't be teaching no more, man. There's going to be a time where there will be no more. Let's we go we get ready for camp. Let's go wake up early camp. No, it's going to be hey, it's the Lord going to shut it down, man. It won't be no more uploading videos. Every time you try to upload a video, it's going to say error. 404 error cannot continue. Because, you you know, when we salute, we, when we open up our videos, we salute the Lord. Giving all praises, glory and honor to you. How about Shimei Al-Shai, about Shimei Chakodash. We give honors to the apostles, etc. Hey, you think they can't stop us from uploading on their platforms when the Lord allows them to? You see? Right now, the gates are open. 
But very, very soon, those gates are going to close, man. So you got to come in now before, hey, look what happened in the time of the flood. When Noah finished his, his building of the ark and he gathered those animals and, and it was time for the Lord to shut the ark. Hey, it wasn't open no more, man. That door was closed and it was a wrap. You don't want to be on the other side of the door. Ooh, that's the title. You don't want to be on the other side of the door when it closes. Lord, hey, Lord forbid, man. It's a scary thing. So I'm going to jump here. Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in, in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And when you look up this word, it's just the, the definition. It says a violent uprising against an authority or government. You see? Rebellion, revolt, uprising, mutiny, revolution. So what? There's going to be an uprising against the men of the Lord. These men, these these devils, they're going to come, hey, with great wrath. Verse 71, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known. Then shall, so all these things have to come to pass. Destruction, Israelites dying. Being uh, 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 put in captivity, we are already in captivity, but the 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 worst kind of captivity, uh, uh, you know, being tortured and being spoiled and destroyed. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So when all these things start to happen, then that 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 trial of, of fire is going to come. You see, the Lord is 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 really. This destruction, this, this great temptation spoken of in Revelation third, uh, the third chapter, this is for the two thirds, man. The scriptures say in Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, at last for that day is great. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Why? Because the Lord is about to whoop that ass. He's about to get down on Jake, man. Why? Because we have been teaching and, and preaching and calling out. Thus saith the Lord and they have not hearkened. So the Lord is by, hey, he's done, when he's done talking, it's all action, man. So, he, uh, this, this temptation, that the time of trouble like never before, all these things befalling the nation of Israel is because of disobedience, man. Because of idolatry, because of, of, of uh, iniquity. Instead of repenting, coming into the fold, worshiping the Lord in truth and sincerity, and, and leaving off of the idols they want to continue in their wickedness verse 74 here o, o ye my beloved said the lord behold the days of trouble are at hand but i would deliver you from the same so lord willing we be of those that get that get delivered man if you continue in this truth you continue in your faith you trust in the lord as it is written trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding you're gonna have doubt demons you're gonna have these different, uh, um, you know, times where you may slip. But guess what? The Lord is faithful, man. He's true. He's long-suffering and merciful. So put all your eggs in that basket. I want to give all praises again to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, Shem Chakodash. Shalom.